Everyone taking stock and attempting to foreshadow what the new year could bring. 2014 was a very intense year for Nigeria and the rest of the world. Conversations with Nigerians on this end shows that they were not far removed from some of the issues and events that shaped the year in Nigeria. From academic experts to professionals from other spheres, the shared aspiration is that in 2015, it should not be business as usual in Nigeria. Insecurity, the Ebola crisis, and 2015 elections dominated popular discourses among the diaspora. Various protests were mounted before the Nigerian High Commission and other parts of the UK following the kidnapping of young schoolgirls in Chibok, Nigeria, in April. I met with the director of Africa Leadership Center, Dr. Fumi Olonisakin, where we talked about this asymmetrical warfare confronting Nigeria and how the government and the military have fared in 2014. Every time when we have this kind of decay in a the system, there are also very, very good parts of it. And so those, those good parts or the good people in the military are operating in spite of all of the decay and the deficits I'm talking about. But what we see with the military is a reflection of institutional failure, which needs to be grappled with very quickly. But, but let's use Ebola as a perfect example of what we're talking about. A part of the elite system was threatened and see how uh, that system responded. But ultimately, it carried the rest of society with it. We had Ebola greetings. We had different ways. The government mobilized resources. We saw how the whole of society moved to deal with Ebola. That is how people should deal with extraordinary circumstances. That is how governments are expected to mobilize society to deal with extraordinary situations and situations that confront society as a whole. That is what is missing in the case of Boko Haram. For the 2015 elections, dialogue sessions and rallies are building up even in the UK. If we're lucky, we might actually see for the first time a set of elections that are highly competitive and in which those who are voting are asking questions, bigger questions, of those who will represent them. We haven't had that in a long time. I caught up with some more Nigerian professionals in London who shared their thoughts on employment and the 2015 elections. What are the discussions about? It, because you see, the discussion, if you look, look across the social media, we are busy saying that we just need to change the leader and everything will be fine. But where will the leader come from? As we transit to 2015, you know, let us be known for something good. Let us not be known for security issues, Boko Haram. Let us not be known for bombing. Let us not be known for people getting missing that haven't been found. In 2015, hopefully, we will have the leaders that will take us from this place we are to the next place to be players in the global field here's an interesting new year message conveyed through art in terms of hope nigerians should begin to look beyond hope and prayer right we spend so much time praying and hoping and not doing i think it's about time that each and every one of us decided what it is that they were going to do not what was going to magically happen. What happens in Nigeria in 2015 matters. It matters to Nigerians all over the world. It all adds up or trickles down one way or another. From London, Doris Okenwa, Channel Television.